Have you ever downloaded a character from the asset store that was perfect for your game but was missing the one animation you needed? In this tutorial I will teach you how you can take animation from one character and retarget it to some other character. Most importantly, I will also show you how to retarget generic animations that animals and other non-human characters have. If you are lucky enough to find some character either on the asset store or somewhere else that is humanoid, you can just simply download it and put it to Unity. The way that you find out whether the character is humanoid or not is by selecting the mesh, going to the inspector, selecting the rig tab and then you can see the animation type. As this one is humanoid it will be really simple for us. You can see that you can also switch between them, but just switching is not going to do all of the work for you because these different animation types require different bone structures of the character, which you cannot really change in Unity. You would need to import the character into some external software like Blender and then adjust the bones there. But because the character is humanoid, that is perfect for us. Now let's say that we are missing some dancing animation for the character, so either we could go to the asset store and search for some characters that have the animation we need or we can go to the Mixamo site where you will find tons of free animations so let's say that you can download the hip hop dancing then you can just drag it to your scene or keep it in the project that's up to you when selecting it again you can check whether the animation type is humanoid as I have downloaded this character it was set to generic so I have switched it to humanoid and in this case it works pretty well because the bone structure is already made for the humanoid characters. And the way that we can use the animation we have just downloaded on the other character is really simple because they both are humanoid. We can just simply drag it either into the animator or just drag it to the inspector. And now in the animator we can see it has added the animation or we could just drag it in like this, that doesn't matter. Yep, so we can see that we have successfully retargeted the animation from the Mixamo character onto the character we have downloaded from the asset store. This was pretty simple. Now let's take a look at how we can retarget generic animations. In my project I have this skeleton that's riding a horse and I wanted him to have some kind of charging attack. But because this exact asset doesn't have the animation I need, I have just downloaded another asset of a horse which has ton more animations and it even contains the one that I need, which is just some kind of charging animation like this one. Because obviously both of the horses are not humans, they cannot even have the humanoid animation type because their bone structure is just different. Even when you would try to switch it in the inspector from the generic to the humanoid. At a first glance everything seems to have updated correctly, but if you take a look at the humanoid animation of the horse now, it looks pretty weird. So simply changing the animation type to humanoid is definitely not an option. And if you would think that you can simply use the same animation for the other horse, then let's try to drag it in. If I try to drag it into the preview, yeah it looks good so far, but if I try to play the animation, it's not really doing anything. The only case in which you should be able to easily retarget the animation between those two models is when the bone structures would match. And obviously if you would want to make them match, you would need to import the model into the blender, then just delete all of the bones and add them all from scratch. Or another option would be to simply create the whole animation from scratch, but I'm not really good at animating, neither am I at adding bones to the characters. If you don't want to be wasting time with either creating new animation or just creating the whole rig from scratch, then I would really suggest you to use the Retarget Pro package from Kinemation. This is the only way that I found that you can retarget generic animations as well in Unity. This is not a sponsored video, but this package has worked really well for me. Once you have imported the package in Unity, we'll go to one of the horses that we have. Let's say you can start with this one and you should find the topmost bone that there is. In this case, it is called a rig. So under the rig, we have all of the bones. And to the topmost bone, you need to add component, which is called guy rig component. Then you can just hit refresh hierarchy and you will see the total amount of bones. The same thing we will do for the other horse, so I will just expand it and search for the topmost bone, which in this case is called bib001. So to this again add component, k rig and refresh the hierarchy. As you can see both of these rigs are totally different. This one has just 81 bones and the other one has 200 bones and the way that their skeletons are made up are totally different as well, but still you can retarget generic animations this way. 
Then we'll need to go into the project and create rigs for both of these horses. So right click, create, kinemation and create rig. So I have those two rigs. Then we just need to drag in the according rig component. So I will start with this horse, which is according to this one. So drag in the game object on which you have put the rig component, which is the rig. Drag it in. Then we can import the rig. So now we can see all of the bones here in the hierarchy. Then we'll need to go into the element chains and just add the bone chains of the rig. Here you can add really any chains you would want, but I will stick to the classic 9 chains. So I have these 9 chains that are usually used, but you can really add as many of them you want, name them however you want and the order doesn't matter as well. And we'll repeat the same process for the other rig we have as well. So drag in the corresponding rig component, then import the rig and just add all of the chains. Now we have come to the most annoying part of the process, which is just editing each of the chains and assigning the corresponding bones. So in case of the pelvis, we'll just assign the pelvis. Here the bones can also be named differently, so just look through all of them. So we'll have just the pelvis for the left leg. I'll be using just the thigh, calf and the foot. The right leg will be almost the same, just right. Then for the spine, I think that we have just a spine somewhere. Yep, that's here. For the neck, I will also add the head as well. Then we have the left arm, so that's the upper arm, forearm, hand. The same for the right arm. And now we have to do the same for the second rig. Really go through all of the bones and make sure that they are correct, because this is one of the most important parts of the whole process. Once you are done with assigning all of the bones, we'll need to create another scriptable object in the project. So right click, create, kinemation, and this time it is the retarget profile. To this one, you can drag the rigs you have created, make sure that the source is actually the object from which you want to take the animation and the target is the object to which you want to apply it. Then you will also need to drag in the source and the target characters, so that should be from the project. So here is the target character, and for the source I have this horse. And then the source and the target poses, these are just optional, this is where you could drag in the T-pose animation. And lastly, you will need to add retarget features for each of the chains that you have. Usually you will be using the basic retarget feature, then you will need to edit the layer and just select the source and the target chain. So usually, if you give them the same names, we can just give them the same names here as well. Once we have all of these features configured, there is one more last step. We will need to go into the window, open Kinemation and then open the retargeting pro window. And this is the place where we will also be able to preview the animation. Before we will need to drag in the source and the target character from the scene. Again these are just the parents. The item is just if the character would be holding something in his hands, but I don't care about this right now. Then just select the profile. And lastly we need to select the animation which we want to retarget. So I will select this one for example. And now if you hit play, nothing is actually going to happen, but I think it's supposed to be this way. And the way that you preview the animation is by dragging this slider. As you are previewing the animation, if nothing is happening, make sure that you really press the play button. Now as you preview it, you can see the horse is moving, but still it doesn't look the best. The way that you can fine tune the animation is just by selecting each of the rigs, going through them again, and just trying to assign maybe different bones, and just really going through all of the layers, and seeing whether we have assigned all of the bones into the chains. Once you are done with the animation, we can just hit back animation. This will make you the classic animation file, so then you can select it in the project, just drag in the object you want to preview, and here it is. The animation definitely doesn't look the best, but it is definitely better than if I would be creating it on my own, or if I would be trying to rig the whole skeleton in the blender, and then just would be hoping that the animation would be converted right. But still, if you want to fine tune the animation on your own, this is just a classic animation file, so you can open it in the animation window and adjust all of the keyframes. I know you probably did not expect me to be talking about this paid package, because usually I like to use free stuff, but in this case I didn't really found any other way that I could retarget the generic animation, and using this package has saved me a ton of time. I hope that this video was useful, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!